welcome to my cube. I'm here on a nice a sunny day in Queensland, Australia. Really beautiful day today, thankfully. I know lots of people overseas, US and Europe are really heading into the winter. So I'm trying to bring you a bit of sunshine. Righty-o, I have got this lovely 40 by 50 canvas and it's a gallery wrapped canvas and I have taped the bottom to protect it from the paint. So when you finish, uh, it's nice finished and dry, you can take that off and have a clean bottom. I've got my giant push pins that you will find in a link in my Amazon store underneath. Um, and most things I use, radio. This one, I am going to do something a little different, giving it a try with a few different techniques in one particular artwork. So I'm gonna start off with a dirty cup pour is gonna be my actual background for this particular piece, but a very kind of bland um, dirty pour. So I'm gonna go with my creamy sand colour because I'm going to use beautiful metallics and more in the um, more in the autumny um, colours so uh, this is what I call my champagne gold it's 50% gold 50% silver oh I think I've got some chunky bits in there which is never good uh, and I might just put a little bit of gold in it Remember, this is just going to be my background on the canvas for something I'm going to do. So it's mostly, I'd want to keep it mostly this creamy colour. So just adding in those other colours. Definitely got chunky bits in, but we'll work it out. Mixed media, mixed media. I might give it a real good squirt of white now. Always put some marbles in the bottom of your mix, in your, uh, you know, your, what do you call them, your um, squeezy bottles. It helps mix the paint up. It certainly does. Just going to go around the edge with my white. So this has obviously all been pre-mixed for acrylic pouring. Anybody that wants to know, there's the recipes for um, beginners in my playlist for, for beginners. That's a bit simple, isn't it? Right, we go. I'm going to, yes, I knew I had it. Add a little, just a sponge brush. Just going to sponge that in on the edges. My canvases are, well, I think the, all the canvases that are sold in Australia usually are pre-gessoed, gessoed or whatever you call it. And um, so we don't, like they're triple gessoed, gessoed. I don't know if it's gesso or gesso um, when we purchase them. So there's no need for canvas prep, you know, like, so you could quite, if you wanted a white background, then you can definitely leave it exactly as you purchase it because it's got a nice triple gessoed, triple dipple gessoed sometimes background. But I just want that. I am just coating it simply so my paint runs over it nicely or slide over, over it. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. See, I've got a few chunky bits. And a flip of the cup so it's simply getting your cup and giving it a flip hopefully it's going to come out like a nice glistening mm, nice well I hope it's going to come out nice <laughs> that's what I'm hoping so let's go for it remember this is just for my background hopefully but, you know, all the best laid out plans sometimes never go to plan and you end up um, changing. So that's OK. I just want, oh, that is actually quite nice. The colours look beautiful together. So even as a very um, 
somebody that doesn't like anything too busy that's very nice and it will dry really nice and uh, glossy a uh, glistening because it's got the metallics in the um that gold and silver champagne mix that i mix up oh that's very nice that could well and truly be left exactly as it is that's very very nice haven't done one like this for a while so definitely done it before but I can now see that sort of very plain uh, minimalistic is very very nice look at that that's very nice so just slowly tilt take your time don't rush ooh, ooh, ooh. just want to get each corner so I've got a nice background that's actually perfect fly in here and it's very annoying to say the least oh that is gorgeous if you like very minimalistic light soft and floaty that's your that's your man <laughs> and I've got paint from tip to toe here I am I have covered myself in it how did I manage that Jeez, and the more I'm wiping it, the more... Oh, you silly jilly, I'm going to have to stop a minute. Oh, sorry, I'll have to stop. Okay. Look how beautiful that turned out. That is so lovely. Absolutely lovely on its own. It looks like a stone bench top of, you know, um, Caesar stone or which, uh, marble. It is just beautiful be so nice it would be absolutely perfect on its own so if you want that look then follow that process <laughs> that's my gecko think <laughs> agree thank you very much gecko can't see him he's hidden behind something but he always seems to make a remark which is quite um you know hilarious really okay i'm gonna go on with my next step so i've mixed some burnt umber a dash of black to make it go that little bit darker and a bit of iridescent medium which makes it go like a metallic so i am going to wiggle this around the outside to kind of frame my marble look remember you don't have to do anything you see other youtubers do you can take what you like out of it um, just here to show you options you may not do the same and and that's that's all good that's what we're here for to give you ideas if you um, are stuck or you just wanting entertainment watching other people create art right here I'm gonna go with this lovely Sahara color it's like a mustardy yellow so again everything has got the iridescent medium in it to uh, give it some sparkle and you're just wiggling it really some um, metallic gold in it I've got to be so careful not to go overboard with my colors but I am um, gonna blow some of them off over the edge anyway so that's my thing I kind of don't know when to stop sometimes but that's it that's uh, my naughty naughty Okay, I think I might add a little bit more of that brown because it's got so much light in there. I want it around the edges because I want to blow some a little way inside. So should I stick with those colours or should I add, I might add just a bit of my um, copper metallic.
Is it bronze? I'm not sure if it's... Don't ever throw any of your bottles that have got a um, squeezy end on away because they just be reused over and over again. I think that's all I want to add. But do I want to add a pop of another colour like a turquoise? Do I or don't I? Should I just try? I may just try this corner and we'll see how this one works out. Oh, that is nice. That's very nice. So I might just try the corner and it might work out that I only do it in the corner. So let's see. So I am going to use some of my, I might just try it here first. I'm going to use some of my um, Amsterdam Black mixed with Aussie Floetrol to just blow out this way and then I'm going to blow down that way. I'm just going to try it. So I'm going to use for this, this mini blower to blow into the centre. See how we go. my other blower to blow down that way before I do that I'm gonna whiz round with this to burst any air bubbles mm, not sure about that blue now not sure about it but you know I'll try the corner like I said I would do and now I've got it untangled like right. flipping floppers, flipping floppers. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna use my little blow dryer to blow over the edges now the other way. I don't know whether to add the blue or take away the blue. Ooh. I'll just try the other corner without then and see how I go. I'm going to try it with the dryer first. not taking it further into this color that I love I do like the blue I think it actually does give it a pop so I don't know whether just to do the corners with the blue I'll just try the corners with the blue these two corners right let's well it's the turquoise let's give it a bit of color in the corners two corners Radio. Let's give it a go out here with that. I might follow that round. And I didn't do it there, but I might try it. Oh, I hope I'm not stuffing this up. But anyway, let's try.
well, I kind of lost my gorgeous bits there, but that is really, really lovely. I don't mind how I've done it on the two corners and the other uh, with blue on the corners or the turquoise, the turquoise. It's very, very nice. I'm pretty happy with that, so I can't complain about that. It's very, very nice. And I'm going to... Now, if that was you and you wanted to leave it exactly as it is, then you absolutely go for it. But I'm going to let this dry off for a little bit and I'm going to add some balloon rolls because it really does embellish it beautifully. Um, and I'll pick up another one that I did quite a number of weeks ago that's got some lovely effects in but I'm super duper happy with that I'm super duper happy it's kind of ended up the composition is over to one side but that's fine I'm not one for central perfect things anyway okie doke I thought my camera was running now I've got to keep checking it I just did a couple of things that you that I missed I just got this very uh, little bit of soft plastic and put a little bit of my black on it there and then used it to just do a few kind of wispy swipes through the like the so just with the corner and it's created these gorgeous effects Well, I think they're gorgeous anyway and that's it remember it's your art your rules your way don't let anybody take your shine away from you don't let somebody come into your art room a friend or or so-called friend or family member and tell you that it it's not good it's crap or you should have done this or that remember stand up for yourself my art my rules my way get out of my art room if you haven't got anything um, complimentary or positive to say we've got to stand up for ourselves too many bullies out there on my bandwagon today aren't I or should I say my soapbox radio Jilly's balloon here we go don't look any further if you do not want to uh, do what I do so I'm going to roll it it's going to add some lighter effects in it I'm going to soften it a bit so you can roll it or kiss it as much as you desire or as least or not at all. That's all up to you. So it wouldn't be my art if I didn't do this. It's kind of my signature thing. So you either do it or you don't. And I've seen loads and loads and loads and loads of people taking this very technique up as their own on <laughs> the art pages on Facebook and YouTube, the balloon kissing. And it's definitely all been done before. As I said, my 40 year old son was doing it in school all those years ago. We called it balloon art back then. So it's all been done before, nothing new. So it's just to bring in some of the softer lighter colour from behind back through again and that's perfect for me wow 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 that is going to look lovely because this i've got a really lovely um pine frame for this particular a floating frame for this particular um canvas so i'll show you in a second and then i will show you at the end it'll be in its canvas in its um, frame dried, that's enough of that. If you wanna do any further embellishments of tiny, then I just use my, it's a normal size balloon. I just put a bit of water in it just to add a bit of weight. It's sort of to go back in where you've balloon kissed. It gives the further petal effects. You know, so if I wanna put a bit of darker color in there, gives, um, it just, you know, it just makes it even more uh, look like a botanical effect without the artistry. <laughs> um, I like it. I like it. 
I like my playing and my fiddling and that's what I really hope that you guys do and don't let anybody take anything away from you and make you feel bad about it and some people struggle for a little while to get a look that they're happy with but trust me that with persistence and um, practice it you you'll oh, you'll get there that is you beaut super duper happy chappy <laughs> really happy with that absolutely love that background even though I've lost so much of it but it's really given me now the idea for a bigger canvas that I've got sitting here to do that kind of background in and it's going to work out lovely so this is my floating frame that this canvas will sit in when it's finished so it's a pine floating frame that came with the canvas and that's going to look really nice so Okie doke my lovelies, that's it for today. Look out for the photos at the end and so happy you joined me and really hope you enjoyed that. Please share, share the love, share the love and remember if you're not feeling very happy, feeling sad, lonely, depressed, please ring a family member or a uh, rally or a helpline. There's always someone there to help you. Okie dokie, bye for now.